With its opening in 1896, the Lynx at Waverly Golf Club became the second oldest regulation length golf course west of the Mississippi, and beginning that year it held the inaugural Waverly Club Championship, an event considered the predecessor to what became the Oregon Amateur. While many state championships have become stroke play competitions, the Oregon Amateur remains true to its roots to this day, playing the same traditional match play format used to determine the best amateur champions even at the national level. It's also one of the few men's and women's amateurs held concurrently, always played at the same time at the same site. It is held only at the finest golf courses and historically showcases some of the most talented amateur golfers in the Northwest. It all started in 1904 at Waverly Country Club with 11 men and 13 ladies, and every year through 1916, Waverly, the only 18-hole course in Portland at the time, was the host course to the championship. Waverly hosted the event every year until it moved to Gearhart Golf Links on the northern Oregon coast in 1917. The event was canceled in 1918 due to World War I, but returned to Waverly and then Portland Golf Club and Tualatin Country Club from 1919 to 1923. With its growth in popularity, the three clubs formed the Oregon Golf Association, initially for the purpose of conducting this state championship. From the beginning, Waverly's members have created a rich tradition of success as Oregon Amateur Champions. The names are legendary, including Roderick McClay, Rudy Wilhelm, Oscar Willing, and Gay Davis among the notable men, and Marion McDougall Heron leading the women. This year, the Oregon Amateur Championship returned to its roots at Waverly Country Club for its 102nd occurrence as 108 men and 48 women teed it up in the hopes of advancing to match play and the opportunity to battle it out for the ultimate state title for amateur golfers. The marquee matchups came in the women's quarterfinals, with 2009 runner-up Kendra Little ousting medalist Carolyn Inglis and Laura Tennant, a Waverly member, taking on defending champion Monica Vaughn in a rematch of last year's quarterfinals. But this time the result was finally different as Tennant came out on top. And with a win in the afternoon semifinal match over reigning 6A high school champion Morgan Thompson, Tennant earned her second trip to the finals in the past four years, and holding hope of the Waverly faithful that she would add her name to the roster of historic Waverly champions. The men's semifinals were also closely contested, as another Oregon State Beaver, Tyler Simpson, defeated Medalist Sherwood, and Jack Dukemanier, the 2005 junior amateur champion, sent defending champion Peterson home. At the end of the day, it was guaranteed that a new champion would be crowned in an all-Civil War final, as the men's championship would be a battle between former Oregon Duck Jack Dukemanier and Tyler Simpson, who competed for the Oregon State Beavers. Likewise, the women's championship would be contested between former Oregon women's golf coach Laura Tennant and Jillian Ferrante Carlisle, who played for the Beavers. In the women's matches, Carlisle, who stopped playing competitive golf after her eligibility at Oregon State ended in 2008, took the title with a dominating 6-5 win over Tennant. It was a shocker of sorts to many, as this is the one title that has eluded Tennant. She's been a perennial all-star, having won numerous titles, and was the oldest player to advance to match play when the U.S. Women's Amateur was contested at Pumpkin Ridge in 2006. As a Waverly member, and clearly the home course favorite, many saw a title by Tennant as a fitting conclusion for the current course layout, before the course begins a major renovation to return it to match its original Chandler Egan design from 100 years ago. En route to the finals, she beat two college and two high school standouts, and it all seemed within reach as it was close at the halfway point. Tennant was only one down, and she got it to all square on the first hole of the afternoon. But then, Carlisle won four holes in a row to take a commanding lead, all the while Tennant struggled to find fairways and greens, a necessity on the tricky Waverly setup. Carlisle then hit the 445-yard par 5 13th and 2, while Tennant ended up in the greenside bunker. When Tennant failed in getting her birdie putt to fall, she conceded the match. Ah, uh, you know, it was pretty even through the first 18. The most I got up was two, and we, you know, it was what I expected it to be. A close match because Laura's a good player. She likes this course, obviously, it's her home course, but the second round, I kind of got things going a little bit. I was making a lot of putts I had to make, and I stayed pretty strong on that, so that helped me out, but it was a good match. In the men's division, former Oregon Duck standout Jack Dukemanier won his second major match play title, defeating former OSU golfer Tyler Simpson 2-1. Simpson took an early command of the finals match, winning the first two holes, but Dukemanier returned the favor, winning holes four and five, to go all square. It continued going back and forth the entire morning, and the duo finished the first 18 holes all square. The afternoon round, however, was entirely different. Duke Minier won the first hole and never looked back, getting to three up after the 27th hole turn. Simpson tried to rally, winning the 11th and 12th holes. 
The match, in fact, could have been all square after the par 5 13th hole when Duke Minier conceded Simpson's birdie putt, but Duke Minier had a different outcome in mind going one up, eventually closing out the match after Simpson missed his comeback putt on the 17th hole. In 2005, Duke Minier captured the boys' junior amateur title. In 2006, Duke Minier was also co-medalist in the OSAA 4A high school championships while helping Sheldon Hyde to two consecutive state titles. He also became a key player for Oregon the past couple years as the Ducks became a nationally recognized team. In 2010, he tied for third at the NCAA championships as his team finished the season ranked third in the nation. With this victory, he becomes one of only four other men to have earned both the junior amateur and Oregon amateur titles in the combined 81 year history of the two events. He joins a list that includes former Walker Cupper Bruce Cudd, Chris Holtzgang, Mitch Mooney, and Randy Mayhar. Um, you know, it's interesting. I didn't even really think about it until, you, until you know, people, people told me that. Um, you know, it's great. I, I don't really know what to say. That, you know, it takes some luck to win a match play tournament. You know, like you run into someone on the wrong day, you're not going to win. So, um, but you know, it's, you know, it shows me, you know, maybe, maybe I'm pretty good. <laughs> The Oregon Amateur Championship, considered the major of amateur golf in the region, is administered by the Oregon Golf Association and is one of the oldest and most prestigious amateur sporting competitions in the state. 